Today you're going to learn how to make a tissue box picture frame. I'm going to do each step separately. And this is your picture frame. And this is one side I've already completed. And when making it, a few tips to remind you that the top of your tissue box is here. I always stitch the bottom row here once I've completed the design so that I know this is the bottom because if you don't then you might accidentally stitch the whole box together and then realize that one of these is upside down and it's okay because you can still insert the picture so it's just your preference but I always try to make sure that the tissue box is this way so I do stitch this bottom row and you'll know how to do that in just a few minutes so this is what you're making today I have your two pieces so you have the piece that you want here. This is the size of my frame. And in order for me to make the frame part, remember we did the three count in the video that I taught you in? So we have the three count here, 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 and here. So it doesn't matter the size of the frame here because no matter what the size is, this is gonna always go in three. So here we go. Okay, so here's the outside, here's the inside. So we're going to cut the inside. As I showed you before, you're going to cut it out in a V. And then you're going to come in and you're going to cut out your design. So I have a little stubble, so I'm just going to go inside, cut off that little extra stubble there. So that's smooth, that's smooth, there's a little stubble here. So I'm going to cut that off. I've got a little bit on the outside here. I'm going to cut that off. And we're going to start with our frame. So, you're going to start in this corner that you see here. And you're going to remember to leave some extra here. And you're going to pinch it so you don't pull it through. And you're going to start at a diagonal. What I'm doing. Okay, now I'm in this corner here. So, what you're going to see is you've got this weird corner thing going on here. So, in every corner, if you ever do a diagonal, you'll always do this step. What I do is I go here, and this is going to be a two. Alright, and this one's going to be a three. And then see you'll have one, two, three, four, so that one's going to be four. And then this one's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that way this one's going to be five. So now it kind of completed the corner and the diagonal design. So you're going to go back in here to your open hole and you're going to go diagonal three. And you're going to go all the way up the side like you see here until you get to the next corner okay so that's basically what you're going to do all the way around this frame Ta -da. and if you notice the corners are different and so that's why I said earlier that when you're going diagonal that the two corners opposite of each other will be different. Now we're going to start with the center part of the frame. So you're just going to stick it anywhere in your material, yarn, and just pull it out like that. And oops, I went all the way through. That's why I remember I told you you have to hold it. So we're going to try that again, which I actually did that on purpose, but 
All right, and I'm getting close to my end. So sometimes I will leave a little bit out just so I can like hold on to it. So you're gonna flip it over now, and you're gonna see, I don't know, right here underneath this piece here, that'll be your first hole. That's where you're gonna start. So you're gonna pull it through, and you're gonna stick it into that first hole. And there's a bee flying around me, so hopefully it doesn't sting me. And you're gonna pull it through. That's going to make your first little stitch. Then you're going to go to the next hole. And then you're going to go to the next hole. And see how it kind of got tingled? That's why I do this little technique here that makes my life easier. I fold it in half and I put this part in the palm of my hand so I kind of hold it like this and then I use my fingers these two fingers and I'll pinch this corner so you just put it in your hand and then you're gonna pinch this corner and then you're gonna pull it through like that so now you can go into the next hole and see my strings not gonna get tangled see in it anywhere because I did that and then you're going to go all the way around the entire picture frame. And you just kind of move your pinch, your little fingers, around. Oops, that's sticking out a little bit, and that's okay. It happens. So now, I have run out of string. It's not long enough to go all the way around, so what do I do? What you're going to do is you're going to, well, first of all, see here where I've run out. I'm not going to finish halfway into the row because sometimes it makes the the angle in which the stitch goes different and so I don't like that so I'm going to, since I finished here, I'm going to stop here and I'm just going to run it through the other side underneath my material, my string, just like before, just how you would start it and just pull it through and then we're just going to snip off that extra and then you're going to re thread your needle with your new color or new string, not new color and then you're going to run it through so I don't always like going in the same stitch that I did so I always do a different one because when it's laying flush against the frame you don't want a bunch of lumps so I try my best to do it from a different place in the frame so I'm going to pull it here remember I'm getting close to my end so I'm going to pinch Right there, I'm going to make my first stitch in that corner underneath. See, that's that funny corner again. So we're going to put it underneath there. I'm going to pull it through. I'm going to do the little trick where I'm going to put these in my hand. See, this is the pretty side. Put it here, and then I'm going to pinch it. Except for I pinched the wrong corner. <laughs> okay, oops. Okay. It's harder than it seems to try to do this through a very small lens of a cell phone. So please humor me and bear with me. Now I'm just going to continue my stitching around the frame as we had done before until I've completed the entire frame. Here is the outside of the frame. And remember it's going to look like this. So this is the outside. This you just completed. So now remember, you're going to do three count all the way around. So it's going to be the exact same design as this, but it's going to be on this one. And we're not going to cut the center out because we're going to attach this piece. So you're going to start in your corner like before. You're going to pull it through. You're going to give yourself a little pinch here so you don't lose your string. You're going to count diagonal. One, two, three and then you're going to go in the hole right beside it pull it tight one two three which would actually be two count because you've already gone through the first square so you would just go two three and then you'll continue all the way around the frame okay now for the fun part for newbies for those of you who have done this before it will not be that confusing for those of you who are newbies, it may be confusing. Now, I've gotten to the corner where we're going to do that weird little thing again. 
So since I don't know exactly where I need to go, what I'm going to do is that little trick I showed you earlier. We're going to go through here and I'm going to do the two count. And then I'm going to do the three count. And then I'm going to do the number one, two, three, four count. And then we're going to do the five, remember? One, two, three, four, five. Now remember, these are in three counts, so that means these are three and these are three, so that makes what? Six, exactly. So that means that you're going to go here. You're going to go one, two, three. But you're not going to go in through this hole. You're going to go in through this one right here. This hole here. Hopefully it's not too blurry and you can see which hole I'm referring to. And you're going to go one, two. So now you're going to start up your next side. And I'll do a couple so I can show you. Okay. So there. Now you see what I'm saying? Since I didn't know, like, how far down to come, I went ahead and started in the corner. And you've got to do your one, two, three, four. Then when you get to your fifth one here, you're going to skip that little bitty spot right there. Hopefully it's not blurry. I can't tell. So that when you insert your frame, see it's going to fit into that little corner. See that there? That's how it's going to fit in that corner right here. Okay. So now you're going to finish going up the side and continuing to go all the way around. Okay. Now we've finished the frame here. And you have finished this piece here. Okay? So what we're about to do is we're going to do the opening part here. We're about to stitch that next. So I've got to thread my needle. So there's my string. And you're going to go in through a corner here underneath come out the other side. I'm pinching it really tight so my other stitch does not come out. You're going to flip it over and you're going to go in through your first hole here and you're going to go into the second one. I do it backwards so that I can hold it with my finger as you can see here. So I go all the way through this way. Like okay, that. so now we're coming up to the end. And now what? So now we know this is going to be our top. And since this has no stitches on it, it doesn't matter where on here we pick to choose. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay it in the design exactly. And what I normally do is I'll scoot it over to the second section square. So you see the two little squares here? And the reason why is because you're going to have to go into the hole to come out the other side. See this string here? That's what you're trying to figure out is where to put it. So I always scoot That's it over. Too blurry. So just remember you've got this string. You're not going to go in the here. And you're going to go in the first one. The first hole. So that when you pull it tight, it's going to pull it back over to here. And hopefully you can see through my design is now perfect because I went through that one hole there. Okay. I don't know if I go in if it's going to be blurry or not. So you're going to come back through that first hole there. And you're going to stick it through that hole. See? So you're going to stick it through that hole. If your frame gets crooked like that, don't panic. Just line it back up to the next hole, and then you're going to go into the second hole, and then you're going to go into the third one, just like this, and you're going to go all the way to the end of your frame. Now remember, when you come up here to this side, this is already done, because this is going to be your opening, so you're going to stop right there at that corner once you get to that part. So you're going to just continue to go around it 
And sometimes your string's going to get hung because you got it a little long. Which now is okay. you have completed your step of sewing on your frame. So you have the outside that we stitched, you have the frame you stitched, you have your trim that you've already stitched. So now we know that this is the top. So we don't want to accidentally stitch it like this so that you have a top and then a bottom. So we want to make sure that we have all the sides facing upward like that. So we're going to stitch the bottom here. So you're going to start from here and you're going to go through your yarn and you're going to come out here and you're going to pull it almost all the way through and you're going to pinch it really 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 tight with your fingers and you're going to go into that first hole here right here and I usually put my finger there so that it doesn't go on the other side and you're going to go completely all the way through to your other side now for the fun part so you have two sides you have two strings so what you're going to do is the first frame you're going to turn it ugly side facing you and your strings going to hang right here and I've already got my needle attached to this one so then you're going to take the pretty side of this one and put it towards you and remember the part you've already stitched together and these two and normally what I do is stick my fingers in there that way I know that I have the right sides facing up so I don't make the mistake of stitching it this way and then what you're going to do is you have your string here you're going to go through that first hole this first hole here I don't know that you can see it very well so we're going to go through that first hole then you're going to line it up so that it's lined up and you have to pinch it in the beginning really tight to make the material plastic connect and then you're going to go like that all the way up your box to the top so you're going to go all the way to the top do not cut this extra string okay and you're going to take the side that doesn't have the string see this one has a string this one doesn't so the side that doesn't have the string, you're going to put it to the side that does have the string. And remember the stitch pretty side here, the not pretty side here. So you're going to take the two sides, the one that doesn't have the string and the one that does have a string, and you're going to put them together and you're going to come through that first hole. Then you're going to come through that first hole again, put your string over on that side, and you're going to pull it through just like that and then you're going to continue to stitch it all the way up the side and since you put all four pieces together it makes it easier for you to hold see and then you'll go all the way up now the side the until lid, you're done you will attach the lid and using your string here you will stitch your lids on for this video I will not do a lid demonstration that will be in a totally different video but remember your lid measurement is this so that way no matter which way you put your frame it's gonna fit and then from here to here is where you get the measurements for your lid